Resident Evil 6. Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner. Welcome to the infamous Resident Evil 6. Now, this is considered by many the worst game in the Resident Evil series. And that's also my opinion. Although I don't remember much of the game, since I played it many years ago when it came out. Um, but while I was messing with the options here and checking uh, how it all worked again, I do recall an interesting thing. I played Leon's Chapter 1 in normal difficulty, because that's what I usually do, start in normal difficulty. But then I switched to amateur, because I recall just wanting to get it over with. So it might be worse than I remember. But we are going to play all of these, hopefully in normal difficulty. Um, and I originally, I was going to do so chronologically, because all of these campaigns intersect, so there are some that start before... Um, I mean, I'm going, not going to say the whole campaigns, but some of uh, the campaigns chapters start before. Uh, different characters campaign altogether, some start after, so it could be cool to do it chronologically, but um, I actually found a list on these team forums by user master underscore, underscore system, which I'll link in the description in case you guys want to check it out, but uh, he basically is not doing it uh, chronologically, he actually divides the game into five different um, into five different uh, arcs or moments, not moments, um, five different events. Let's say. So it might be interesting to um, to experience the game that way. Yeah. So he splits the game into five uh, different arcs. Each has their own um, campaign chapters of uh, different characters in them, so it, it might be cool to do it this way. So uh, first we'll start with the Preludes, which is uh, kind of a tutorial. I do believe we will see this again during the main campaign. Pretty sure of it. One thing I do remember is uh, spending like half an hour trying to figure out how to use a first aid spray. Because apparently you uh, you couldn't use uh, the first aid sprays directly from your inventory. You had to equip them in your hand. And um, the other items you could equip in your hand were grenades. And I'm pretty sure there was a grenade menu I'm not sure if it had that name, because I checked the key bindings earlier, just to uh, change them. And by the way, whoever designed the default key bindings is some sort of robot or something. Those are not normal key bindings a human, uh, a human would use. Anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm pretty sure the menu was called grenades, because I have that memory of pressing the grenade button to use a first aid spray, which I found quite weird, and uh, there goes Leon. But yeah, maybe I'm misremembering. It's named Item now, or maybe it was named Item all the time. But basically what I'm getting at, you're not using it from your inventory. You have to physically equip the item in your hand. There's an inventory and there's a there's an item menu. Okay, so let's get this going. Look, look around and drag the body. One of the main complaints about the game is that it, it is extremely um, extremely heavy with uh, quick time events. Uh, 
It's also apparently very dark for some reason. I definitely increased my brightness a lot. I mean, even Come on. It's not over yet. in the brightness screen, it's uh, quite funny actually. They say to um, there's a big six, there, and they say to adjust brightness until the six is barely visible. There's no such thing. Even at the lowest setting, you can clearly see it because it's on a white background. Not getting off that easy. Come on. Press button to grab hands. Okay. I mean, why is this a thing? Why not just make it a full-on cutscene? I can't even turn. All we've been through. It'd be a waste to give up now. Here we go! QTEs for everyone! You know, this is something I really hate when, uh, not just this game, when some games uh, do it. Which is, you have the control to walk around, this way. but you can only walk forwards. You can't turn, you can't do anything. So it's basically a cutscene. You're just pressing forwards. I don't really get it. I mean, there's basically no player agency there. You're just pressing a button. Let's take a break. There's gotta be a first aid kit in here somewhere. Oh, and uh, I haven't mentioned this before, but this is actually, once I finish this, I will have played all the Resident Evil games on my YouTube channel. So this is the last one. I mean, not really, I plan on... T uh, there's some uh, more things planned, at least one more, maybe, maybe, maybe a repeat. Makes me sick seeing but yeah, this like is this. technically the last one. Leon, are you there? Hunnigan. Good to hear you're okay. Where's Helena? She's not doing too good. She needs medical attention. Do you have any herbs left? A few, but I'm not sure they'll help. Okay, listen. Just follow my instructions. And oh boy, this screen. Oh, I can't actually do anything here. Um, herbs to mix. Combine. And then we need to place the herbs on the tablet case, for some reason. Because it would be criminal to actually be able to use items from our inventory screen. You know, like most games do. It would be weird to do such a common thing. Too many good agents have died here today. You're not getting out of that list. Oh, zombie. No, maybe you'd want to start shooting Leon before the zombie gets that close. 
Just the thoughts. Damn it, out of ammo. Oh, out of ammo. Okay, this... I mean, this would be a better... This is a good quick time event, because um, I believe it's something that's prevalent in all... I'm not sure if it's on all of them, but it was in the older ones, I believe. You could just mash the directional buttons to... Um, uh, to when, when, when a zombie grabbed you, you could mash the buttons to um, get yeah, free quicker. For a but it's on a cutscene. I don't know, it makes it weird. You can't just get rid of... I mean, at least here. I don't remember the rest of the game. I think I'm gonna be okay. Thank you. Leon, what are you doing? You need to get out of there, now! We're heading to the quad tower. What? No, it's too dangerous. There are BSAA agents there with survivors. I can't abandon them. Alright. Then let me help. I'll direct you through the safest route. Thanks, Hunnigan. I've sent over the field guide to your PDA. Okay. You can always refer to that in a pinch. We are a bit in more control now. Display route guides. Okay, that's cool. Just some waypoints. Um, but it's not all bad about this game. It does uh, some cool things. Like uh, this. Uh, like this. You can actually jump backwards and shoot. And you can roll. And it's quite fun. Some more controls to use against uh, zombies and other monsters. So those are some cool mechanics that we can use. And I think we can sprint. I did not see a sprint button in the key binding, so what the hell? there must be some other th thing th that you need to do it. Roger. I don't remember exactly what. But we might learn during the tutorial here. And oh boy, it's a mess. What is this, China? Yes, just keep moving in that direction. I think part of the game is in, is in China, so... Th this is probably right. Oh, zombie! Oh, I have a magnum! And assault rifles? And shotguns, why? Leon, why the hell were you using a pistol against that lone zombie at the start? You have all of all of this. They're coming out of the woodwork. Oh, and there are also melee attacks, which are quite cool too. Which is a really great addition. I mean, I'm not sure how um, hand to hand how hand to hand combat fares against zombies, but it is quite effective in this game. Usually, you would just have a knife. Oh, okay. That button to dash, huh? Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember a chapter in this game where you have to do kind of this sequence, but running over a way longer distance, and I hated it, because uh, you're watching your character from the front, so it reverses your controls. That's not fun. Oh, 
Really? Can I pilot this? Oh, no, just push a button. Oh, this guy is definitely going to turn into a zombie. Or maybe not. No, he's a zombie. Oh, I. I can't even aim! I just need to press the button at the, at the correct time. I'm going to complain a lot about the game. I can... I, I can tell. I can tell I'm going to complain a lot, judging by this start. So we can sprint like this. Okay, cool. Another cool addition. I mean, I know you can um, sprint in Revelations 2, since I just played it, but um, uh, this came out before, I think. Pretty sure it came out before. Not sure about Revelations 1, I don't remember. But you couldn't do it on five. Pretty sure of that. Back for more. And prelude is over. Okay. I think I got the hang of it. Okay, let's go into Leon's campaign, chapter one. Uh, difficulty normal. We'll play with Leon. Uh, I don't want... Yeah, we can play offline. Tell 
Monk's Cathedral. I'll explain everything there, Agent Kennedy. How do you know my name? Yes. Hunnigan. Thank God you're both all right. How do you two know each other? That's Helena Harper. She's been with the Secret Service since last year. I can't tell you how good it is to hear you two are all right. Look, I hate to rush introductions, but I need a report on your situation. Well, the president's dead. And he was a zombie. I... I just shot the president. What are you? He had already been infected by the time we found him. Leon... Leon did what he had to. He saved my life. God help us. All right, I'll submit the report. You two just focus on getting the hell out of there. The virus has already spread three miles past the campus perimeter and it's not slowing down. You need to hurry. Not before we check out Talok's Cathedral. Agent Kennedy's got a lead that might tell us who's responsible for this. Leon, is that true? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I might have something. Roger that. I'll map out the safest access. Good thing she doesn't ask really for open. details. I got a lead. You will if you come with me. Come, come with me if you want a lead. So what's so special about this church? You have some sins to confess? It's hard to explain. If I don't tell you at the cathedral, you may not believe me. So this was the President of the United States. I don't suppose he's the same President as in uh, Resident Evil 4, so Ashley's father. Oh, and who are you? Secret, Secret Service, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Has, um... No, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. I mean... Don't Secret Service usually wear all black or something? That guy's suit and um, whole attire had some uh, different colors to it. You're gonna tell me everything once we get to the cathedral. Deal? Deal. Can I run? Please? Ugh. Why are you forcing me to walk, game? Can I get in here? I can. Here too. This is getting out of control. I get like a flashlight. Oh! So... What exactly happened here? Are they all... They're all dead. But the president was a zombie. So... Why are they dead? I don't suppose the president killed them all? So did they die from the infection and didn't turn? Or can they still turn? Or maybe they something else killed them? The power's out. Oh great. Come on, can I run? What is that icon below my ammo? There's one pistol and then there's two pistols. What's the other one? Hmm. Can't go this way. Can't even inspect anything. Come on, game, give me some flavor text. Roger. You see one of them, aim for the head. It's your best bet. Got it. This is where the reception was gonna be. 
They'd all be here eating dinner right now if... You think anyone survived? I hope so. Yeah, why are they dead exactly? If they got infected... I can't believe this is happening again. It's just like Raccoon. The Raccoon City incident. You were one of the survivors. Yeah. I'll never forget it. We're going to this cathedral of yours. But if you really did have a hand in this, you can kiss your freedom goodbye. I know. Oh. What was that? Only one way to find out. Let's Someone's go. still there. Follow the shadow. Oh, I can open this. Okay. Does this mean I can actually go here first? Uh, there are things in the way that uh, I can't push and I definitely can't climb on top of this table. Because reasons. And this is locked. I can climb these stairs again. Still very dark. Ooh, Wonder first aid spray. We have before these corpses are on their feet. Oh, did it increase my? Hold on. I can't access the inventory yet. Did the first aid spray increase my um my health tablets, which is. I don't really like the tablet system. Just allow me to use herbs. Just do it like that. Why do I have to combine them to turn them into tablets first? Or uh, put them in my tablet case first? Any items around here? And probably not. It's just the start. Let's just do what is required of us. And by that I mean, let's go over here. Realize that there's nothing and carry on. Hello? In the back. This is actually me walking. Yeah, there's nothing. Hello, Mr. Shadow. Oh, there's someone coughing. Gas, maybe? Liz! Wait, let me go! It's too dangerous. My daughter, she's all alone. If we don't do something... All right, I get it. But if you don't keep it down, you won't live to save her. You understand? Liz. Is that your daughter? All right, let's find her. Leon, we don't have time We're to... We're making the time. Okay. Liz, where are you? Uh, this feels like a pretty decent place to stop for now, so 
we'll continue this mess next time. For now, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the first episode of Resident Evil 6, and as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.